Hey everybody, it's Lane the Plane here, here with a broken Surface RT. Hmm, well, let's figure out what's going on with it. If you have this little problem, whenever you, you press the power button, the Surface logo comes up, even the little thing vibrates, and then it turns off again, what gives? What are you, what's going on? What's going on with that? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix it. I've de deliberately set this surface back to the state where it was broken so I can repair it to the best of my ability and demonstrate to the best of my ability. So, what you're going to need for this, obviously, your broken Surface RT, a, at the very least, 16 gigabyte flash drive, a working computer, can be a desktop or a laptop. And you'll obviously need your serial number for the device, which I'll show you how to get to that. Okay everyone, so now that we're back on our computer, the first thing we need to do is we're going to need to back up the flash drive we're going to be using. Like I said before, 16 gigabytes is the, min is the minimum space that it needs, but mine is a 32. So we go into here. Obviously, I've already backed this up, so I've, I'm good there. And then you're going to want to check and see if BitLocker is enabled. And if it says turn on BitLocker, then it's not enabled. And backing up is very easy. All you really have to do is just right-click, cut, and then paste all the files in your flash drive somewhere on your desktop. We'll, just, we'll only be using this for the recovery image. All right, so now that that's out of the way. Now to get to the serial number of your Windows Surface, you're going to flip it face down. You're going to lift up this back panel and it's shining the light in here. There should be a little number below the word Surface. There's Windows RT, 32 gigabytes. That's just because my Surface is 32 gigabytes. Yours can be different. And then below that, the word Surface, that should be where your serial number is. You're going to need this for your recovery image. Now for downloading the recovery image. We're going to go to this website, support.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash surface recovery image, which I will be including that in the description of this video. We're going to select the surface product, which in my case, it's surface RT. We're going to put our, ser we're going to put our serial number in which I will be back whenever I have my serial number in. Now to get to the serial number of your Windows Surface, you're going to flip it face down. You're going to lift up this back panel and it's shining the light in here. There should be a little number below the word Surface. There's Windows RT, 32 gigabytes. That's just because my Surface is 32 gigabytes. Yours can be different. And then below that, the word Surface, that should be where your serial number is. You're going to need this for your recovery image. All right, now that we've pressed continue and now that we have our serial number in, it'll take us down here, which it says product Surface RT 32 gigabytes, Windows RT 8.1, which that is mine. Obviously yours can be a little different, but the process goes, but the process goes for the same. So we're going to press download recovery image and it's a decently large file. So give it just a little bit, give it just a little bit of time to download 2.9 gigabytes. I'll be back when it's done downloading. All right, I'm back. It's done downloading and I've already, it should be done down here. I already dragged and dropped to the desktop. So now that that's out of the way, we can go out of our browser. We can, we can move this over to the side and then we open up File Explorer and we go to our flash drive. Move this over here, double click this. If you don't have WinRAR, it's free and I can include the download link in the description as well. What we're going to do here is we're going to take all of this except the two dots, take everything except the file at the top, we're going to copy it to Flashy, our flash drive.
and we're just waiting for everything to process. Now everything's done unpacking and processing. Every, you got 2.9 gigabytes of files that are being transferred over to our flash drive. So I will be, I will be back once it's done transferring. While this is transferring, I just wanted to touch on my very sincere apologies for the abhorrent microphone quality change. I recorded some bits with my DSLR and some bits with OBS, as you can see here, so it's a little easier for me. Again, my apologies, my microphone is terrible, and hopefully y'all can, can understand this. All right, it's done transferring. Now, we double check, make sure everything is copied over. Now that this is done, we close this, right click, eject, and then I will be back. Given, given that all of the previous steps have been followed correctly, what we're going to do now, we're going to take our USB, make sure the open end is facing up. This is just so it's easier for you to plug it in. And with a little bit of wiggling, USB should plug in like that. With our USB plugged in, we're going to hold down the volume button and we're going to press the power button. Keep holding it down until the Surface lo logo comes up. Now the drive is flashing red, meaning that the Surface is trying to read the recovery information from the drive. I'll be back once it boots. I meant once it boots into recovery mode, and please be patient, this takes a decent amount of time. After some time, it should start spin- the logo thing should start spinning a little bit. That is very good, meaning that the, in, the BIOS is able to read from the, from the drive. And now we're, we've got a blank screen, reading a bit more information, blue screen, and here we go. We're gonna, see, we're gonna select English, United States, because that's where I live, and then we're going to select US keyboard layout, and then now we're at troubleshooting options. We're gonna press troubleshoot, and then we're going to press reset your PC. Please wait. It says please wait. I'll be back once it does something. Once it says reset your PC, here's what will happen. Press next. And then you're going to select yes, repartition the drives. And then you're going to select fully clean the drive. Once you've hit fully clean the drive, it should say all ready to go and hit reset. Everything will shut off. It should start resetting your PC. Surface lo logo is up here. Every now and then you should get a flashing light from this flash drive. It really depends on your flash drive. Some flash drives don't have indicator lights, but the indicator light basically means that the drive is having information read from it or having information being written to it. So, we're just going to wait until it's done. This should be the last thing that we have to do. During this entire process, please make sure that you keep your flash drive plugged into your surface and your surface should make sure your surface is charged. If this dies during, it could make you have to restart this entire process. So with that all being said, I'll be back once we get a boot screen and yeah. What it's doing is that it's taking the boot and recovery information from the flash drive and it's rewriting it onto the Surface's storage drive. And just a word to the wise, please keep in mind that this takes a very long time. It can take from 30 minutes to upwards of an hour or two. Also, please keep in mind that it may restart multiple times during this process.
And now everything should be done. We hit the power button, region and language. I'm going to press English. Obviously set the time zone and everything. And I believe you all know what to do from here. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps.